Previously on Sims 4 Big Brother, eight house guests moved into the Big Brother house and competed in their first head of household challenge. Larry and Layla were the first out of the competition, so they became have-nots for the week, staying in the uncomfortable kids' room. One by one, the rest of the house guests ran out of steam until only Arturo and Heather remained. Finally, Heather crossed the finish line to become the first head of household of the season. As head of household, she'll enjoy a week in the luxurious HOH suite with a private bathroom. But with great power comes great responsibility. Heather now has to nominate two of her fellow house guests for eviction. Who will she choose? Find out on this episode of Sims Big Brother. Okay, let's check in on the house guests and see how it's going. Remember, I'm not controlling them at all. They have total free will. The only thing they can't do is leave the house. And uh, so, so far they're interacting and taking care of their own basic needs pretty well. Uh, since Heather's had a household or HOH as we usually call it, the two house guests she has the lowest relationship with will be the nominees for eviction. So it's interesting to see who is making a connection with her. I've set Monday at 9 p.m. as nomination time, so they have until then to build relationships, and I'm not peeking until then to see who's in danger. Dan and Layla seem to hang out a lot. What else is happening in the house? Check out Larry's swimming clothes. Larry must be really modest, which is cool. Go Larry, rock that full body swimsuit. Uh -oh. I just missed whatever happened, but it looks like Layla walked in on someone in the bathroom and she's embarrassed. Oh no, I think it was Heather. That might be bad for their relationship score and that is not good for Layla. Dex and Karen are hanging out and these house guests love the pool. They're, there's always at least one person in the pool any hour of the day. I think the pool has not been empty since they moved in. Layla is swimming through the concrete, ouch. Read any good books lately? I'm a cowboy. I, I think Karen's going to punch the unicorn again. And Dex is just gonna do some spontaneous push-ups. Stay buff, dude. Uh, I like balloon animals. Yeah, I'm ripped. Look at him strutting across the yard. Layla's getting out. <gasps> She wants to talk to Cowboy Dan. Ah, she almost fell. She does have that clumsy trait. So yeah, Layla and Dan talk a lot and Cowboy Dan has the romantic trait, so there may be a little showmance bloom in here. Layla's thinking about dirty underpants while she gets into her have-not bed. Karen sleeping in the fancy room. What's she dreaming about, buried treasure? Look, Mimi is sleeping in the HOH room. It's Heather's room for the week. I assigned her the right side of the bed. And Sims usually don't like sharing a bed with Sims they aren't really close to. So this could make Heather mad at Mimi. It could affect their relationship and put Mimi in danger of being nominated. No, oh, look, Heather is sleeping on a random bench. She might have some negative feelings about that. Uh, we'll see. Larry looks happy. Uh, he's taking a shower. Good. Glad they're minding their hygiene. Check this out. Cowboy Dan, Arturo, and Dex are outside. I wonder if they're forming an all-boys alliance. Larry's coming too. All four boys are out here. Pretty suspicious. Larry and Heather are talking. Smart move, Larry. Befriend the HOH to keep yourself safe. In this game, every little interaction is important. Mimi's joining. 
good for her. This little pop-up on the side tells us that since Heather has the good traits, she likes people around her to be happy and do good things. So stuff like that will definitely determine who she builds relationships with faster. And that makes me wonder about Karen, since she has the mean trait, will Heather like her less because of that? Larry just wants to talk about cupcakes. Me too, man, me too. Nah, Larry has to go to the bathroom really badly. Good luck in that wetsuit, dude. Y'all, the All Boys Alliance is at it again. Larry, Dex, Dan, and Arturo, they keep having secret meetings out at the pool. Guys, look. Cowboy Dan swims in his cowboy boots. Here's our house elder Mimi walking around the house in her bathing suit. What, what is she doing? Well, she has the childish trait, so I, I guess she's just being silly. No judgment, Mimi. I love it. At least she's not punching the things like Karen. Cowboy Dan's washing his hands and thinking about how strong he is. Oh, strong, made him think about Dex. He's looking for Dex now. Where's Dex? Dex is having some coffee. They drink so much coffee in this house. Yep, there comes Cowboy Dan. He's got a showmance with Layla and a bromance with Dex. And Dex has to go to the bathroom. These, it must be all the coffee. These Sims are having a hard time getting themselves to the bathroom. Dex is getting seriously uncomfortable. Uh, dude, stop talking. Don't wave your arm at me. You have full autonomy. Take yourself to the toilet. There goes Larry exhibiting some of his erratic traits. Arturo's having coffee, the official pastime of the Sims Big Brother house. Karen's awake and she's cooking something. I must say, Karen has behaved herself surprisingly well. Aside from regularly beating stuffed animals, she hasn't had any outbursts or altercations that I'm aware of. But since she does have mean, hot-headed, and perfectionist traits, I think Karen is a ticking time bomb, and I expect her to go off at some point. And I hope she does, for entertainment's sake. But at this point, she's fitting in well. A cowboy Dan seems to like her, and she's made something for everyone to eat. What is it? Dan wants wine and a charcuterie board. But he's taken a plate of whatever this is that Karen has made. I hope you enjoy it, Cowboy Dan. Okay, what is this? I, I cannot even tell what it is. Grilled plantains. Oh, okay. And they're vegetarian safe, which is really considerate of our vegetarian Layla. Maybe Karen's not so mean after all. Is Mimi sleeping in the pool? That is not safe. Layla has been asleep for a long time, it feels like. She needs to get up and socialize with everyone, particularly Heather. I'm really worried Layla is going to be nominated tonight. Arturo, Larry, Cowboy Dan, Heather, and Karen are out here bonding. Karen's talking about llamas. Larry's talking about himself. They all have green pluses above their head. That means they're strengthening relationships, which is exactly what you want to do, what you have to do in this game. Oh, good. Layla is up, but she's sitting by herself. She is eating some of Karen's vegetarian grilled plantains, though. Speaking of Karen, here she comes. She's going to talk to Layla. Ooh, I don't know what she said, but Layla did not like it. Mimi, come defuse the situation with your elder wisdom. Heather is floating in the pool, contemplating the big decision she has to make tonight. Which two people she wants to nominate for eviction. Mimi is playing with toys in the middle of the kitchen floor. Larry and Layla have joined Heather in the pool, and they look like they're having a good time. Layla may be saving herself right now, and maybe Heather can forgive the bathroom incident. Dax is pounding out some crunches in the kitchen while Cowboy Dan looks on. And Karen's at it again, beating up the poor defenseless unicorn. She should get a penalty nomination for that. 
Okay, the time has come for Heather's nominations. The two house guests she has the lowest relationship with will be nominated. On Thursday, the rest of the house guests will vote one of them out. So, who are her nominees? Cowboy Dan and Layla. Okay, Layla I expected, but Dan is a bit of a surprise. Now Heather's job is done and I'm gonna let everyone interact freely until Thursday. At that point, each house guest will vote, meaning the nominee they have the lower relationship strength with will get their vote for eviction. So who will be the first voted out of the Sims Big Brother house? Will it be Layla or Dan? Stay tuned for our next episode to find out.